Today, I'll be going face to face with the Runkles. These highly venomous snakes are incredibly special because when it comes to defense, they have a unique set of skills up their sleeve that might surprise you. This is why I'll be heading out into the South African wilderness to find one of these magnificent snakes. But this video has taken me a long time to make because the last Runkals only played dead and I was unable to show you guys all the crazy things that this snake is capable of and because they are so secretive it has taken me many more trips to find another one. So we're out hiking this morning because that's when Runkals are the most active. And because Runkals are highly venomous snakes I have to have the best tool for the job, the hook stick. And you notice this little hook here? That makes it even better for me to control the snake in really dangerous situations. And now in order to find Runkals, you need to find good habitat. Now this habitat's good, but I think it's a little too open and way too much people. So instead, we're going to go somewhere better. <laughs> where it's a bit more overgrown and less people. But even in perfect habitat, it still takes a while to find Runkals. But I really do think I'm on the right trail. So I'm going to keep going and I'm pretty sure in a moment's time, we will find one. And thankfully it wasn't long before a good mate of mine spot one on the trail. One, yeah. Oh, sick, dude. What is it? Oh, it's a Runkles. No way. This is exactly what we're looking for, guys. That's what... Okay, okay, okay. Look at that, guys. You see that? Wow, just take a look at that. She spits venom all over me as I approached her. Many people don't realize that Runkles are highly capable spitters, and they often use that tactic as one of their first methods to ward off predators. Now, <laughs> that is very, very cool. I'm actually a bit excited. I'm so glad we actually found one. And what she's doing right now, she's not just striking, she's actually lunging venom at my face. I've got it quite a bit here now. And uh, it tastes a bit bittery and sour. It's actually not a very nice taste at all. Don't worry guys, the Runkhouse's spit is completely harmless so long as it doesn't get into your bloodstream or your eyes. But it's a very good defense tactic <laughs> to scare away predators. And if you get too close and you ignore that, that venom spitting, she'll bite you. She's got a highly necrotic venom as well as a neurotoxic venom causing your body to stop communicating with the brain shutting down important organs as well as causing necrosis tissue swelling and a lot of pain not something i want to experience by any means but one thing that's really cool is there hasn't been a fatality recorded from this snake's bite in over 40 years however she she might just say come here and try let's find out and i don't want to find out <laughs> this is a wild snake guys Highly venomous, don't want to mess with her, I've got a hook stick, for a reason. And on top of that, I have a permit to remove highly venomous snakes, so I have a lot of experience with these animals, and that's why I do a lot of educational videos. So guys, please do not do what I do unless you are under supervision of an expert, or if you yourself is an expert. They're very important to our environment, they help manage the populations throughout the ecosystems, as well as controlling the spread of diseases by consuming sick animals. So they are very, very important. And they'll eat anything from frogs, rodents, eggs, and potentially even other snakes if they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. That is insane. You see that typical bar pattern? That is actually perfect to help them thermoregulate, which means it helps them control their temperature. Snakes are ectothermic, which means they're cold-blooded. Not actually cold-blooded, but they use the environment to heat themselves up, whereas we are endothermic, so we heat up by the food we eat. So having those black bars is like having small little solar panels, making it much easier for her to absorb the sun's heat so that she can stay warm. Oh, that is really cool. She is puffing at me a bit. Now something you might not know about these guys, as you see this hood right here, you must think this is a cobra. Now believe it or not, one thing that makes these guys so special is they're not true cobras. And it's because of two special things. Number one, it's those scales. They have these rough dragon-like scales called keeled scales. Very rough and very different to usual cobras. Cobras have smooth scales. And the other thing that's so unique and so strange is that these guys have live birth, whereas the cobras have smooth, smooth eggs. Wow, <laughs> where am I going with that one? But uh, I'm just gonna readjust because I want you guys to see the stomach here. This is absolutely insane. So can we bring the camera this side and take a look at this? Just a little bit more, girl, and then we're going to let you go. Just a little bit more. Take a look at how black under that hood is. The runkals means ring neck. And because they look like cobras, they are actually closely related. So if you want to call the snake a cobra, I give you full permission to, because they look 
really, really close to it. Just like the King Cobra. The King Cobra is not a true Cobra, but we all call them Cobras instead. That is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy I found you, big guy. And uh, we'll let you go. Thanks very much. If you guys really enjoyed learning about the wrinkles, then be sure to check out the quest for the bizarre snake from South Africa. Or if that doesn't interest you, then here's a playlist.